Thanks for joining Earth Radio. Today we have Wall Street Journal with the latest news regarding Coinbase and their NASDAQ listing. If you like our summary videos, check out the Earth Experiment at earth.io. Cryptocurrencies and Wall Street have mostly been operating in two separate worlds, until now. We are listing a stock on the NASDAQ. Coinbase, the US's most popular cryptocurrency exchange, is going public. And that's a big deal for both Wall Street and the crypto community. Not only does it make crypto and Bitcoin a little more acceptable, it actually now gives investors another way to invest in Bitcoin. The company allows users to trade and store cryptocurrencies and charges fees on all transactions. It profits when cryptos like Bitcoin trade higher, and in the first quarter of 2021, when Bitcoin's price doubled, Coinbase's revenue was $1.8 billion. Coinbase's revenue being tied to Bitcoin's value has led investors to wonder if the platform's share price will be just as volatile as Bitcoin, which is known for its big price swings. So will Coinbase's public debut be a turning point for crypto? Nasdaq set the reference price for Coinbase at $250, which would give the company a valuation of about $65 billion. That's about eight times its valuation in a 2018 fundraising round. To understand why the listing is making waves on Wall Street, you have to understand what attracted some 56 million users to the platform. When Bitcoin first emerged around 2010, it wasn't exactly easy to trade. WSJ crypto reporter Paul Vinier has been following Bitcoin and Coinbase for quite some time. I've been writing about Bitcoin since 2013. In the early days, you had to basically download the Bitcoin software, the actual program itself, run it on your computer, maintain a wallet, maintain a, a node on the network. And for a lot of people, it was just technologically too big a deal for them to deal, to bother with. Coinbase was created in 2012 and was one of several platforms that offered an easier way for people to buy, sell and store cryptocurrencies. The whole point of it was to be very simple. And if you look at the website, it is. It is basically a very simple way to buy and sell Bitcoin. 